Grace and peace. Welcome to the replay. Welcome to the replay. This is Coach Martin Wilson wanting to bring you just a quick announcement and uh, some brief information on the Ecclesia Ecumenical Leadership Online School of Epistemal Training and Catechism. Wanted to just come at you and let you know that we are we are in the midst of online enrollment and it starts today. We're starting our enrollment and it will last throughout the month of November. The month of November will uh, be our online catechism uh, enrollment and training for overseers and bishops. And we're wanting to make this available to those that may be in need of this particular training. Um, as we were pulling our fellowship together, we began to uh, talk with the other leaders and we were finding out how many leaders and so many leaders, unfortunately, had had uh, been brought into the, the bishopric to the office of the overseer and had never received proper training um, as it relates to um, having been catechized or um, just formal training in really understanding what it meant to uh, to be uh, a bishop. So it's so important that you get this training. So I wanted to I wanted to come and share with you just for a few minutes to give you a better understanding of what we're doing with our online um, school. As I said, we're starting our online enrollment for our um, our training for our epistable epistable training. Uh, let me bring that back up just one more time so that you can so that we can read it here. Uh, we're doing our uh, ec ecclesia ecumenical leadership online school of epistemal training and catechism. Uh, so we want to make that available to those that may not have, that may even already be walking in the office, but want a better understanding of the office and those that may have um, uh, a desire for the office and definitely want to be trained, definitely want to be trained and trained properly. So we're going to take almost a year of training that is going to go into this. There's about a year of training that is going to go into this. There is a cost for those that are not a part of the network. Those that are not a part of our network, there is a cost, but we will we will work with you on that, especially those that are bivocational, uh, meaning that you work a, um, a, a day job, and we do understand that it will be, you know, um, you've got family, you've got things, you've got other obligations, but we want to make sure that you get the proper training. Um, I had an Episcopal visit from my bishop, um, Bishop Frank Bobo, um, on a couple of weeks ago, and we were talking about how that we have to make sure that we're not producing what is called paper meals. We're we're bringing people in and we're just giving them um, epistable papers. We're, we're giving them um, uh, uh, licensing and ordination. And these people have never been properly trained, never been properly, um, even through catechism. So we want to make sure that we, we um, are putting things in place so that these leaders can be properly trained, especially our leaders. If, if no other leaders, we want to make sure that our leaders are properly trained in Ecclesia so that they can um, best represent what it means to be an overseer, what it means to be a bishop. Uh, we are starting a minister's class. The minister's class will probably start up around the first of the year. Uh, we're going to be training, uh, doing tr leadership training for for um, the ministers, but that probably won't start until the beginning of the year. We're working on getting that class together, but we, we are starting the catechism for the overseers and the bishops. So we're starting that. And what I wanted to share with you um, is I wanted to share with you our book selection um, that we're gonna be using for our our catechism. So important that we, that we um, 
understand that within proper training, there has to be proper material that is given so that um, the person that's being trained can not only uh, get the teaching in the moment, but they're also going to have teaching tools that will assist them as they go. It's so important that they get training materials as they go. So I wanted to, wanted to share with you our book list. Uh, and, and I'm also doing this for the ones that are going to be going through the training so that they'll know what the book list is. Um, the test, there's an online test that we've already, that we're formulating, putting those together. So they will be able to, to take their test and things online. Actually, we're using Google School. So you not only will be able to do it online, but you'll also be able to do it right directly from your smartphone. So uh, the enrollment has started. As I said, this is for the enrollment that we have at the present is the Catechism for Overseers and uh, the Catechism for Bishops. Uh, one of the books that we're using is from Archbishop Thomas Henry, uh, and it's The Office of the Overseer. A great book that goes through the history of the office of the overseer. Um, not only the history, but it also goes and gives a biblical breakdown of the office. Another book that we're using because we're the, in, in our network, Ecclesia Ecumenical uh, Leadership. We're, we're, we're big on leadership because we're finding, you know, we've got a lot of great preachers, a lot of great teachers, but they lack when it comes to leadership. You've got to be able to lead people. Uh, correctly. You've got to be able to lead them as much as you preach to them. You've still got to be able to lead them. So the one of the books that we're using is Unlocking Potential. And this book is by Michael uh, Simpson. So we, we're believing that that's going to be a really good book. We, we've uh, heard some great things about this book. So we are developing some of our curriculum uh, based around this particular book also. Another book that we're using um, from a friend of mine, uh, not a personal friend, but I did, I have got to know him over the years via communication, uh, Bishop Andy Luter, who is, um, I, if I'm not mistaken, he's still over the um, educational department of Full Gospel. And uh, we're going to be using his book, uh, the Study Guide and Catechism for the Bishop. Great book. Also covers the history and the um, and the the the, the biblical uh, standpoint from where we get the office of the bishop. So that's going to be a great uh, great teaching tool that we're going to be using. Also, for you for you for those of you that are coming in, what we're doing is. Uh, uh, Ecclesia Ecumenical Leadership Online School of Epistemal Training and Catechism. Uh, we're, we're all, we're, our enrollment has started today and it will last through the month of November. And the classes that we have right now are the Catechism for the Bishop and the Overseers. So you can enroll, uh, you can get the address here that is Ecclesia Leadership 2018 at gmail.com. All these classes are going to be available online. So now back to our book list that we're doing. I wanted to go through our book list. It is pretty extensive, but I did want to cover it. As I said, uh, uh, the um, study guide for the catechism for the bishop, for the office of the bishop. This is by Bishop Andy Luter. Another book that we're using is the Epistemal Formation, the second edition, also by Archbishop Thomas Henry. Awesome book, very in-depth, very in-depth book that we're using for the training of our bishop and preparing them for the office of the bishopric. Another book that we're using, um, it's not just enough to be a great preacher. You need to be a great speaker. So this is one book that we're using is The Magic of Impromptu Speaking. Uh, and it's called, it's, it's about creating a speech that will, that they will remember for years. Because in, in presenting the gospel, you want to make it memorable. You want to make it something that is impactful. Uh, another one that we're using, because we do believe that speaking and speaking well is very important is the Wealthy Speaker 2.0 
by Jane Atkins. Anyone that knows anything about speaking uh, knows that Jane Ax, Ak, uh, Atkins is a uh, authority in that arena, a, a great authority in that arena. Another book that we're using is Decluttering Your Mind. Decluttering Your Mind, How to Stop Worrying. And we're going to use that book specifically because the, the stress factor that comes along with being a leader, that comes along with being a bishop. We want to make sure that we're that we're decreasing that stress factor. So we're going to be teaching also out of that book. For the new people that are coming on, what we're talking about is I'm sharing with you uh, the Ecclesia Ecumenical Leadership Online School of Episcopal Training and Catechism. Our enrollment has started. Um, classes that we're that we're offering right now is, is, is the only classes that we're offering right now is the catechism for the overseer and the bishops overseers and the bishops all right so now uh, back to our book list of what we're of the books that we're that we're using um, uh, also we're using a book that I personally have written that is entitled if you correct your thoughts you correct your life. So that's a book that I've written that I believe that will really help us to understand how our thoughts, how our thinking about ministry can really determine how ministry flows. If you believe that ministry has to be hard, then ministry has to be hard and has to be difficult for you. If you believe that ministry um, will have its ups and downs, but that God is leading you and guiding you, then you will be the one that will be able to experience that all things, even those things that don't look good, are working for your good. Another book that we're using, um, and this is a book that um, probably most people wouldn't think should be in this list, but it's a great book. Uh, the name of it, it's Cybo Cybernetics, and it, it helps us. It's And this book is by... Um, uh, his name is Maxwell Malford, and what it does, this book helps you to, to understand how you view yourself and that it's never about what you really think it is that you're dealing with. So many times uh, the things that we deal with in life are a result of things that we've been through and haven't really got delivered from. So this is a great book. We're going to be using some passages, some, some text out of it inside of our teaching to um, help our bishops better understand who they are. So important that you know who you are when you're leading other people. We're also going to use another book that, is, that, uh, that I have written, The Power of Your Choices, Choosing to Rethink Your Life. The Power of Your Choices. As a leader, you've got to understand your choices, the choices that you make are literally going to be the future you're going to live in. Where you are right now is nothing more than a residual of the thoughts that you've been thinking and the decisions that you've been making. Also, we're going to be using a book that my wife has written, uh, and I think we'll be using this more in the ministerial and, and elder training for licensing and ordination. And this is the journey to self-confidence, the power of self-belief. Listen, I understand that everything that we do is the power of God that allows it to be so. But also, it's, you, we have to understand that you've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in who God's calling you to be. So we're going to be using that book. That book was written by my wife. We're going to be using it also in Arab school. Another great book by a, a, a personal friend, and, and I call him mentor of mine, is Manhandled, The Hidden Code Words that impact men and that is by dr oliver reed we're going to be using that as a part of our training um, then there's a classic here uh, this is a very very classic book that we're going to be using and the title of this is rightly dividing the word of truth and it is by clarence larkin very very in-depth book that really could be considered a book of theology because it breaks down the theological understanding of salvation, sanctification, and other things of that sort. Now, um, as I said, the, 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 this, these tests that we're going to be giving is going to be based on these books. You're not going to have to actually purchase these books at this time. What we're doing is we're doing the legwork for you. We're going to give you the material online. So you'll be able to study it, you'll be able to read it, and you will be tested on it. For those that are coming in, what we're talking about is the Ecclesia Ecumenical Leadership Online 
online school of Episcopal training and catechism. Our enrollment process has started today. The classes that we have available right now are our catechism for overseer and bishop. At the beginning of the year, we will open it up for um, classes for licensed ministers and ordained elders that need to be ordained. So now uh, back to my list of books that we're going to be using. Um, the next book that we're going to be that we're going to be uh, really digging into is uh, a great book by by Tom S. Rayner. Those of you that know Bishop Tom that know Tom Rayner, I call him Bishop, but it's Tom Rayner, Pastor Tom Rayner. He is no, he's not. He used, he's a, used to be a pastor. He is the president of Lifeway Christian Books. And so um, this is a book by him, uh, the late Apostle Peter Wagner and Elmer Townsend. The, those are like three giants in the faith. And the name of this book is Every Church Guide to Growth. So this is another book that we're going to be digging in, pulling information out of so that our leaders not only are good preachers, not only good leaders, but they know how to grow churches. We want to make sure that they know how to make the churches that they that they pastor grow and also how to make uh, and help and assist the pastors that are under their care to be able to grow their churches. Another uh, book that we're going to using uh, going to be using is Dying to Grow um, and the name and uh, Reclaiming the Heart for Evangelism. This is going to be an evangelistic book that we're going to be using. Uh, churches are dying because churches are not evangelizing. I mean, plain and simple. It's not that people don't want to come to church. People are not being reached because those of us that are already in the church are not going out and we're not trying to reach them. And we're going to have to die, die to ourselves, die to the way we feel, the way we think so that we can grow. And that, is, that book is by uh, Nathan Locklear. Another book that we're going to be looking at is uh, Vital Signs. Um, and and that, that, that book is by Tom um, Morgan and I can't pronounce that last name, but Tom Morgan is the essential um, writer in that book. And the name of it is Vital Signs, Meaningful Matrix that Keep uh, the Pulse of the Church. And so in that book, we're going to learn about how to keep good health, how to keep the church healthy, make sure that the, the church is healthy and vibrant. Another book that we're going to be using is Developing a Theology of Leadership, another leadership book that we're going to be using, and that's also by Tom Morgan. Another book by Tom Morgan that we're going to be using is Developing a Theology of Planning, very important book, so important that as a leader you know how to properly plan. Another book that we're going to be reading that is also by Tom Book. And when I say reading, this is going to be, we're going to be giving you the material, the online material, as I said, and you'll be tested on that material. You do not have to necessarily buy all the books, but I encourage you to buy the books, to make these books a part of your uh, uh, um, library, if you will. And the name of this book is Taking the Lid Off of Your Church, also by Tom Morgan, taking the lid off your church. Six steps to building a healthy senior leadership team. Six steps to building a healthy senior leadership team. Teams are going to be so important. Being able to operate as a team, being able to function as a team is going to be something that is going to be very important. And so we want to make sure that our leaders not only know how to function as a team, but they know how to develop teams. Another one is Stuck in a Funk, How to Get Your Church Moving Forward. Uh, this is a very good book. I really enjoyed, enjoyed this book. This book also is by Tom Morgan. Uh, another book that we have here uh, is Fusion, Turning First-Time Guests into Full-Time Members. That's going to be a great one. Uh, this book is by Andy Stanley. Great book by Andy Stanley. It's called Deep and Wide, Creating a Church that the Unchurch Like Attending. Another book by Andy Stanley is The Vision, uh, Visioneering, 
which is a guide to discovering the vision for your church. Great book, great book um, that I really believe is going to give us some awesome information that is going to help develop us as leaders. Uh, this is a classic. Uh, one of my friends turned me on to this book. It is The Seven Laws of Teaching by Bishop John M. Gregory. Great book that is going to help us uh, to understand how people think, how people learn, and how we need to teach. So important that we know how to teach people. A book that we're going to pull some information from that I think is very important uh, because we, we do believe in the five-fold ministry. So we're going to be using, a, this is also a very classic book. It is called Pigs in the Parlor. It is a handbook for deliverance. We're going to be also be using it. And that is by Fred and Ida Mae Hammond. Matter of fact, one of my spiritual mothers was one of their students, if you will. So this book has been in my life all throughout ministry. Very important book. Uh, the Contagious Church, Becoming a Contagious Church by Mark um, Milborough is a very good book. A very good book. We're going to be using it. Uh, it, it, it's along the lines of church growth. Then we're going to be using also um, one that I, I know some people say, well, now why is that in there? Very important book. A lot, of co a lot of pastors are coming to me now asking me about life coaching, asking me about mentoring. So important that we understand coaching and mentoring. So we're going to we're going to be pulling information out of coaching and mentoring for dummies. Uh, which is, um, believe it or not, there is an excellent presentation on there that shows us uh, what it means to be a coach, what it means to be a leader. And so many times, uh, a lot that we're doing, when we talk about coaching, really what we're talking about is discipleship 101. So also, I think that is all of them. Let's see. Let me make sure. Okay, here we go. Uh, then we got... Um, this is an active approach to small groups. So important that, that as leaders, you know how to, to, to get small groups together. Small group ministry is going to be very important for the growth of your church. Another book by Andy Stanley that we're going to be using in our school is Communicating Change, The Seven Steps uh, to Communicating. So that is by Andy Stanley, going to be an awesome book that we're going to be using. We're going to be using also another book by Ralph Moore, which is how to multiply your church. Uh, Creating Community, also by Andy Stanley, 100, uh, 101 Ways to Reach Your Community, which is another evangelistic book that we're going to be using. Uh, then we're also going to be using uh, one of my favorite books, The Sticky Church, uh, and that is by Larry Osborne. Uh, and it, and, it, and, it's, and it's, it, it, what it really deals with is causing your church to be attractive to those people that come so that they desire to find more of Christ in your church, not that they have so that they don't have to go other places. Uh, also by Larry Osborne and Sticky Teams. So many times we get great leaders in our church. We can't keep them because we're not training them. We're not developing them. So we're going to also use this book called Sticky Teams by Larry Osborne. Um, this is a real, real classic, uh, lectures to my students by Charles Spurgeon, Spurgeon, very classic book, very, very classic, um, beyond the first visit, which deals with evangelism, which deals with an excellence in church ministry is a great book that we're going to be using also. Uh, another great book by Dr. Jack Canfield that we're going to be pulling information out of is the principle, the success principle, how to get from where you are to where you want to be. So important. Um, this is probably becoming a classic. This is also by Tom Rayner, who is the president of Lifeway Books. Uh, and it is, I am a church member. Listen, we want people to be good church members, but it's so important that we as leaders understand what it means to be a church member so that we can teach that and teach it properly. Uh, we're also going to be using leadership book by John Maxwell. Sometimes we win. Sometimes we learn. Awesome book. Awesome book. Another book by John Maxwell. Everyone communicate, but few people connect. 
So that's going to be an awesome teaching. Also, another classic, another classic book by Bishop Norman Harmon is Minister, uh, uh, Ministerial Ethics and Etiquette. And this is an awesome book that we're going to use in the training of our ministers to prepare them for uh, licensing and ordination. Uh, this is for the overseers. Um, I did. I got to do a great interview with overseer Sterling Davis II, and I'm going to try to get him back to do some more teaching for us. Awesome book on the overseers. Goes very in depth. Very in depth. Um, this is book by by Samuel Rayner, which is Tom Rayner's son, The Essential Church. So those are the books. Those are the books that we're going to be using for our. Uh, the school that we're that we're we're putting together, we've put together. <clears throat> so if you're interested, I need you to to inbox me, inbox me for more details, so that I can give you the information for the Ecclesia Ecumenical Leadership Online School of Episcopal Training and Catechism. The last thing that we want to do at Ecclesia is be a paper mill. We do not want to be a paper mill. Those that will be consecrated, those that will be um, set in the office of bishop, those are going to be, those that are going to be licensed, those that are going to be ordained, they will earn it. They will earn it. They will learn. And if they don't do the learning that is needed to successfully pass the classes, then this is not a place where we will just be giving out uh, ordinations, consecrations, and things of that sort. So listen, again, if you're interested, Ecclesia Ecumenical Leadership Online School of Epistemal Training and Catechism, the classes that we have available right now are the Catechism for the Overseer and the Bishop. Enrollment information, you can email me, Apostle Wilson, Bishop Wilson, at Ecclesia Leadership 2018 at gmail.com. Calm. And uh, those of you that are bivocational, please ask about our scholarships. We do have scholarships for those pastors, leaders that are bivocational. Thank you. Until next time. God bless.